Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be talking about how socialising online can actually increase loneliness in motherhood and how we can make better connections without having to leave the house. <laughs> always please make sure you are liking sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them go after the motherhood of their dreams it's now been scientifically proven that mindless scrolling can decrease connection and increase loneliness feeling like you've got all these followers online and things and then just scrolling through their instagram feed can actually make us feel more detached and not connected i'm in quite a few facebook groups for example and i find much more connection in the smaller ones the bigger ones they're just like endless like posts with loads of comments and there's actually no in-depth connection beyond there. I really try if I connect with someone in a post to maybe add them as a friend and send them some private messages or try and move it into private message. Sometimes they can open up better if it's a more sensitive topic as well. But I reach out to these people and they, they don't accept friend requests or they'll like half-heartedly respond to a message and then never get back to me. Let's face it, we're all busy. We've all got go a lot going on. But those kind of consistent rejections can really start to make you feel very lonely. Just because a group has got like 64,000 people in it does not mean that you're gonna find connection in that group. Just because there's a bigger pool of people does not necessarily, when it comes to online, increase those chances. So for me, I put a lot more effort into the smaller groups the groups that have a couple of hundred people in maybe you can kind of see the people that are more consistently engaging on there try and find people that are maybe in a similar area to me not so we can necessarily physically meet up but we're probably going to have more in common now that's not always true don't get me wrong but if i want to connect with some people so i can discuss schooling in my area and they live in an area where there's like one school and that's your only option and i actually live in an area where there's lots of schools and lots of options it's going to be a little bit trickier i'm dealing with issues of raising a child in the city i mean we're suburbia london so we're suburbia city but i might struggle to build a connection so much with someone that's dealing with living in the middle of nowhere and those kind of issues it's not a guaranteed but for me i i find it I find there's more of a connection if I look for people that are in a similar like geographical situation to me. That for me helps. But you might find that you really want to broaden your horizons and you might specifically look for people that aren't in your area. It's about specifically looking for the right type of person for you and you know you and who you get on better with in your like non-mum life, those sort of normal, normal friends non-mum friends, normal friends, you know what I mean. You know what you would normally like. If maybe none of your like pre-child friends have kids and you're looking for some more mum friends, or maybe you've now become a full-time stay-at-home mum and you need someone that's on the same similar sort of hours as you, you don't want to go out in the evening so much when your friends get home, other friends get home from work, you need to look for someone that's that's cool for hanging out during the day. Things like that are very important to consider. Also make sure you're not just scrolling through, make sure you're putting yourself out there by commenting on the things. Get the conversation going. In our Super Mums community group on Facebook, I try to get people to engage in conversation and start chatting and opening up and things. And yes, obviously it's great for the Facebook group, but it's more that part of our mission with Super Mum Society was to create community and I'm trying to get people to create community. There's also a lot of great apps out there and it depends on the area you're in. Some of them are international now, but within the UK, I know of three, there's um, Mummy Buddy, Mush and Peanut. And where I live, Mush is particularly good because the people that set up Mush live 20 minutes down the road from me. So when they first launched, obviously they had a lot more people joining from this area. Whereas uh, Mummy Buddy, I think it is, uh, the lady is down in Devon. And that kind of area, uh, there were more people when she first set it up 
in that kind of area. Now it's not just where they started, but it depends on where they've done advertising campaigns and promotional campaigns and things like that. So do sign up to all of them and just see which areas you find you're sort of getting the most response from, which app you're finding you're getting the most response from. And that's more about meeting people in real life. You put where you are based and it finds other mums with similar age kids in your sort of area. Mush is my favourite. I find it very user friendly. And as I said, they were just down the road from me. So there is a lot of people from my area that use that app. If you're struggling to connect with people, then do come over and join our Facebook community group. Hopefully there you can connect with some like-minded mums and it will stop some of this loneliness in motherhood. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.